I'm Bobby Hammond, and I'm standing back. Hi, I'm Bobby Hammond, and I'm standing backstage at WrestleMania. So this is Pete, but I'd be on WrestleMania too. Don't worry, because Ladies of Wrestling 2 players always seem to get the best advice, and the best women, and the best interviews. Cause Scott Timberman sucks. As a matter of fact, I think I see a card coming up right now for my world exclusive interview, and I hope it's Kevin Nash. So I've been waiting out here three days to turn it. That's not cool, I'm still okay, okay folks, I'm still okay. I'm still okay folks, it doesn't hurt at all. Ow, Ow! All the pain! All the pain! All the pain! I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. I can't move my legs. Ugh. Ugh. Hmm. That was pretty sweet, man. I've been waiting to do that for a long time. Well, you see, because it gave me a raise, because it was so refreshed that someone talented could come. Well, I'm backstage taking over Barley spot, and hey, there's Kevin Nash. Hey, Kevin Nash, can I get a word? Yo, what's up, man? That's not fair, that's my world exclusive. Shut up, buddy. So, how do you feel about being with the WWE? I don't even know if I'm part of the WWE anymore. <laughs> not the way Chaz treated me. What's going on then? You'll find out later. Well, there you hear it. Nash, on the ropes, what is he gonna choose? I'm Scott Timmerman, that's another world exclusive. I'm gonna hop in my new car. But you're a fair world exclusive producer. Oh, that's not really cool. That was my exclusive. I waited three days for Kevin Nash. I even ate dog food. So that was the only thing I packed. It's the quiche for Kishi. This is the first of our alliance matchups here, folks. This is a tag team match. And we don't even know who the alliance has chosen for their tag team. But we know we chose our two biggest men because how can you destroy two big men? That's the Kish Rakichi! Yeah. Rakichi looks intense and, well, he should be taken serious no matter what pose he is on the card. He could go from the top to the bottom to the mid card. But he doesn't care. All he wants to do is stick that big derriere in someone's face. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, no, no. But we don't even know who the Alliance has chosen. So that's gotta be an awful bad for the game plan yeah. on these two They're not gonna know who to pick. Oh, that's okay. See, he's sitting there and his tag team partner. Waiting for his tag partner. But you I, all know who it is. I don't know who his tag team partner is, but I didn't really show up till yesterday. <laughs> the big key! something about that man.
Goldberg, opening up a Mark Henry, spares him. Spares the quiche right out of his thing. He's trying to get the shirt off him. Oh, oh he just puts the shirt over that and stomps him in the chest. He's trying to lift him up. Oh. No. Ah. Goldberg is an unstoppable force. He is so ah. strong. Rikishi able to hold on. Ah, 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 ah. He just threw the hen. He calls himself. And DDP is out cold. He hangs Rikishi back in there. He... Ah! Cape on his shirt. I don't know, I figured you'd like this, wouldn't you, Corday? No, no, no. You like Samoan butt sex. He's <laughs> hammering away on Rikishi now. And Mark Henry, oh, worse for the splash, but missed. And his own guy. Spear, Goldberg, brings in the ref. Jackhammer! He's an idiot! This is a quick squat. Jackhammer! Uh, what do you do it? No, the key, she's fighting out of it! The super kick says he sends him over to the top! No! The key! Oh my god, I just splashed him to the outside! Hey. Diamond cutter! I tore my quad! I seriously tore my quad! Mark Henry! Oh, Mark, Mark Henry's Henry splashing him. I, I don't know what the hell's going on here. Mark Henry just dove off the rope. I don't know Mark Henry could do that. Just, just in time, Mark Henry. Up for the jackhammer. <laughs> the hen gets jackhammered. Pulls him back out. But I'll figure it's too late this time. Rikishi can't save his buddy jackhammer. This is a quick over, and the WWE One, is lost. Two. Woo! <laughs> they jacked over the cameraman. Now he's going for the pin. The ref is getting up. One, two, three. What the hell is DDP? Bang! Ah! Three. Is that it? The ref is hitting it. You lost the count. Shane, get out of here. What the hell? Why are you dumbass? <laughs> Bang! Why well, you always have to do that? Get up! Shane picks up the ref! One! Two! Three! Goldberg has one! Ooh. No! Goldberg! Wait a minute! Oh! The winner of the match! Shane, get out of here! Goldberg! Oh, he pushes the ref! The ref! Wait a minute. What the hell? They play Mark Henry. You wanna know why you wanna turn on me, Rikishi? Because I'm annoying. Stand face. Oh my god, Rikishi. He's got alliance. You got something to say, don't ya? Yeah, I decided time's up. It's Jericho and the main event or not. It's true that well, I'm not... if Jericho's not in the main event. Well, what is gonna happen here? Is Chaz gonna come out or what is he gonna do? Is I, I think th Chaz has already come out. I, ah. I still think he has three minutes to decide. I'm looking for Fat Samoans. 
Yeah, three minutes to decide by the time the next match is over. If that's longer than three minutes, we'll hijack the match. Well, there you go. We got an ultimatum here. Rikishi, Alliance, who's next? Bang! And that's the last we ever hear from DDP. It's, wait, there's Macho Man. I guess this isn't over yet. Put it here. Why would I put it there? You don't want to put it there? I didn't know that. <laughs> but you came on three minutes. I didn't know that. Why not four minutes? Wait a minute, Macho Man's big again. Yeah, I drink another soda. Diet Coke. Diet Coke. Who's next? Are Who's you... next? I didn't know that. I really thought it'd be Duke the Dumpster Drossy. <laughs> Rikishi, you went alliance? I didn't know that. Get out of here. You're wasting my time. But we decided that we don't want to wait any longer. It's time. Chaz, get out here and make your decision. What are you going to do? What am I going to do? I speak it over speakerphone here, folks. And when you speak over speakerphone, speaking happens. Like a lot of speaking. Get out here and tell me to my face. It's Chris Jericho! What did Chris Jericho want? For ya. I'm a nice guy. Oh, yeah, I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. I didn't know that. Thing. I want to welcome everybody. Sorry. To. <laughs> okay. Now. <laughs> Just talk. I'm sure this boom mic's right in the ring. Just talk. I'm having a hard time. I want to welcome everybody to Sunday night. Is Jericho. Sunday night is Jericho. I thought it was heat. Did you change it? I didn't know that. Just hang on to that mic, pal. I don't do a good job. <laughs> Sorry. This is my first job. Anyway, get the hell out of here. <laughs> Jazz, I want you to get out here and announce your decision. What are you going to do about the main event spot? I'm supposed to be in that match. You know it. Ranger Joe knows it. Everybody knows it. What am I gonna do? John Mick Johnson. But Chaz sent me out here. He thinks it's a, I guess it's a Chaz impersonator. Damn right I am. Marky Mark Fools! Chaz? Oh, you're on Matt Johnson. You I, Chaz impressions? I, I didn't know that. that. You wanna know? <laughs> Oh, what did you eat this morning, Rikishi? Donuts. From the dumpster. I ate them for the rock. Chess, get out here! Well, he said that I'm the king of this world. This. I'm the king of the world. You leave I Undertaker deserve. away out a match. And if Undertaker's without a match, there's a lot of backstage politics. And I do backflips over the competition. You backflips! I didn't know that. Well, why don't we just solve that problem right now? Wait a minute. That's the Undertaker's. Oh, no. That's the Undertaker. That's the Undertaker. He's never lost at WrestleMania. What is he doing here? None of the Alliance members are even stopping him. Cut the music. Cut the music. Cut the music. Cut the music. You know what? If I'm without a match at WrestleMania, it's a crime of the century. Whoa. Jericho, get in the ring. 
I'm the king of the world. I should be in the main event. You know what? Why don't we make this a fatal four-way? Because I want to kick your ass. I want to kick Hogan's ass because I beat him already. What makes you think you deserve to be in this match? I am the former champion, king of the ring, king of this world, and I do get my rematch clause. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to say something important. Your ass smells, Rikishi. <laughs> Plus, you won the king of the ring. I already said that. You already said that? You already know why you already said that? Watch. Why don't we get Kurt Angle out here and let him decide? Why don't we not? Why don't we do this old school with the fisticuffs? Yeah! Fisticuffs. Wait, I guess both men. It's going to be a fatal four-way tonight. Well, we still don't know if that's official. It's official. I allow it. Ring the bell. Well, we're going to send you backstage to see what Mr. Man has to think about this. You gotta pay. Brother, this is supposed to be me versus another American hero. And now you're gonna let you Canadians in this match? versus another American hero. You just pointed to Eric Angle. <laughs> well, you know what the you're running. Says... The Rock says you need to get your Rudy Poo candy ass out of here, you freaking cow licker. Sergeant Slaughter, sit down. Damn it. Yeah, sit down. Yeah, you really could sit down. Where's Edge been? I haven't seen him for a while. Edge? We have a match to prepare for. Kurt, that's not cool. We're, I don't Why know, man. Where edge? is he? Come on, you could be Edge. I'm sure Chad would fall for it. You could say, hey, I'm Edge, and put on a blonde wig, and he'd fall for it. He probably would. He's stupid. Beat Chris but you know what, brother? Christian, in the match, dude, you gotta use that boot like I told you, brother. And you gotta do the camel clutch. No, you don't, brother, because I've kicked out of that move many times, dude. This shit just doesn't work. The Rock says, you three jabronis, shut up right now, because you're ruining the Rock country. The Rock's got a match with Stone Cold Steve Austin. I got one with True Who the Man. hell is this Stone Cold out Steve out Austin? Damn, God damn it, son of a bitch. I'm brother, I don't give a damn, brother. This is me versus Rock. Calm here. down. What the hell is Eric Angle doing here? Does he ever match? No. Kurt just invited me. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to win this thing. <laughs> Win what thing? <laughs> Let me tell you something, Vince. Ever since I've known you, brother, you brought me up to the top. I've climbed all the mountains, I've jumped all the bridges, and I've eaten all the noodles. What noodles? <laughs> this is Got Tim with World Exclusive. Things are exploding backstage. I'm well, let me man. tell you something, Scott Timmerman. The last time Hulkamania was on the books, that was in WCW, when Vince was back in his heyday. And he couldn't stand going face-to-face -face with Bischoff and the oh, So I think he's scared, brother. And you know what? You may think that I'm just babbling on forever, dude. But I'm going to go back, eat my Hulkster shakes, drink my Hulkster shakes, and I'm going to come back, and I'm going to win this one for Vince. Brother. What the hell did he just say? <laughs> dude, I don't know. The Rock says he spouts a lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he definitely spouts a lot of shit. He's yeah. definitely a mother canuck. Guys, I'm trying to sleep. Hey! No one time it's useful, it disappears. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. That DVD sucks. Burr! Brother! This DVD rules! Let me <laughs> Brother, let me tell you something about Triple H, dude. He thinks he's got backstage politics. Well, I use the big boot, brother. And that's all the politics I need, dude. Come here, Scott Timmerman, dude. I'm sorry for knocking you out of a building. Sorry about that, brother. I'll bring you back up there pronto. Sorry, dude. Hey. Edge. Hey. <laughs> you know, that Christian's up there. Red and Raven, they are not there, dude. You gotta get up there now, brother. Because Christian is really upset with you, dude. Okay, cool. He's really, really upset, dude. He, he's talking about not doing the vitamins, not doing the training. Not and definitely not doing my big boot, brother. You gotta get up there. Something to do my big boot, dude. Oh, Hulk Hogan. Hey, let me tell you something, ladies. I may be 53 years old and need Viagra, but my prostate is still... Never mind. Let's get busy. Yeah. Hey, we gotta get this place clean, Ranger Joe. Where are ya? Um, I don't know. I'm over here. You guys gotta scat, dude. You can stay in the arena. You got backstage passes. 
said, go right out of here. Fuck, you gotta be joking, right? Get out of here. Orton, what are you doing here? Hey, I heard the APA has auditions still. Lenny, you can stay. You're Lenny. All right. Plus, you're drunk, and I don't know where the hell you go. I gotta hop. Orton, leave. Ow! Dude, he'll never have to have me leave. He doesn't know where I am. I'm with you, dude. <laughs> Come here, sitter! Tony Black, I can stay, and the other Tony Black, I can stay. That's about good. Go no, wait, we gotta clean this place, dude. Ranger Joe, we gotta dedicate all our time. Mech, pick up! Olympic Slam! Don't do it! Bulldog! Oh, crap. Now, that's what Chess wanted, it wasn't a Ranger Joe. For me to pick this up while he was out cold. Ranger Joe, clean. Now we send you down to the light heavyweight number con one contendership match. You're an alien. I'm not an alien. You're an alien. I'm not an alien. I'm a drunk. Dudley. Four men are gonna be in this. No, no, no. Only four. That is what I said. One will get a title shot if they win this. We get the light heavyweight champion. Rick Dudley is one of our guys. And he's your pick corner, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Um, well, well, Cornette makes up his mind. Great Dudley waits for his opponent. for his entrance. What a cheap shot. He's making fun of him. Scotty. Drop kick. And the ref has got the hat for the match. Contest the Japanese bus saw the jury. Now, 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 now. That's not to Jerry. That's to Jerry. Break like already down, starting with a full drop kick. Three men are in the ring, two men are standing. Spike Dudley down because he tried to make fun of Scotty and Scotty didn't like that. Adding fuel to already burning fire caused by a number one contendership for a lightweight title. And our last man, we go to the entranceway. Boy. And the final man of this match, Chavo Carrero. La Raza. No, 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 no. This is a Mexican song. Killer Man wearing Scotty's hat. All four men for this cruiserweight match. This promises to be one of those luchadori type matches. Oh, he lands right on him. Going on the work, trying to work on the leg of Spike Dudley. Ah! Ah, Spike! Oh, he's wrenching on Spike's leg. He's wrenching on Spike. Ah! Right. 
Spice gonna... No, he's not gonna tap already. That'd be a little too soon. And even Spice... Spice got way too much heart to quit. To gearing up for an early moon salt. Oh, I missed it. Boom! He shifts the rope on Chavo. He goes over to Chavo. And the rest out of the way, and he dropped the hat. Ref decides to duck out of this match. Try to reverse into a splash. One count. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Three guys all go landing on each other. What That's is Spike trying to do here? Ugh. Ugh. Ah, oh. He just took out two more guys. Everyone's just landing on top of each other and set a pile up. Scotty dies up. Hit that drop kick on Guerrero. Ugh. Oh. oh no! Wait a minute, the Japanese buzzsaw! Oh! It, it just slipped the outside of the ring. So wait, never mind. Chavo goes back to the ring! Ugh. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Both of them with a clothesline. Part of it was. With a lost cause because Scotty ended up landing face first. Spike jumps down. Scotty cartwheels it. Nah, he changed his mind. Spike pulls him on the rope. Mm. Oh, oh. Here's Spike coming back into the ring and Spike was tumbling back mm. to the outside. Uh, Tajiri is down. On. Um, when it, Chavo uses the jury as a springboard. Over Scotty! Oh. Spike Dudley. Oh. It was over. One. Two. Working uh. up. And the rest slides back out of this match. He doesn't want one any part of this. Oh, let it go, let it go, let it go. And he passes out because it's too much excitement and Chaz doesn't want to. He's looking for a Oh, it's Jerry kicked him. Kicked him again. Oh. Oh. Spike Dudley by the greasy hair into the ring. Yeah. He's dancing. Oh. Oh. Not a good move. Chavo. Sleeper drop off the top rope. One. Two. Ah. Oh. Chavo can't get the Ah. Oh. He ends up catching him in the DDT. Scotty doesn't but. Drop. There's some kind of suplex there by Scotty. One, two, no, one, two, no. Nope, double two counts. Oh, he's going for it again. One. Whoops him so hard he falls two. down. Two. Whoa. Looks <laughs> like he's trying to move for Mysterio. Whoa, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. We're gonna try and get in the middle of this bad idea. Oh! And Chavo goes for a quick cover. Springboard. Off the leg on Chavo's back of the head. Spike 